All right, everybody, this is your Kilp Girl of Rusty Relics Farm, your host here. Sorry about the word jumble. Going back into uh, my read through this manual, I, it's been uh, on the back burner for so long, so I find we going to try to get it done by the end of the month. So I'm going to be doing these videos daily. Anyway, I don't remember exactly where I left off, so... Go back to deck plate adjustments, which is the last place I remember reading this. Deck plate adjustments. Adjustments are provided if the deck plates you smell, deck plates are not positioned as already explained. That the lever is not in the center of the quadrant when the deck plates are one and three eighths inch apart at the rear and one in a one quarter inch inches apart at the front and centered over the stock rolls adjust the eye bolts on both sides see page 10 if the proper relationship of the deck plates cannot be obtained by moving the deck plate lever adjust the individual deck plates as you can see the deck plates depicted in this pictograph here and the linkages for the controls the you know, clevis to adjust the deck plates eat control lever remove the pin which attaches the eye bolt to the link to the deck plate control linkage at position that letter C right here. I should be using something as a pointer. I'll use the pen tip. C is right here. Clear up. It's right here where this junction point to adjust it, to adjust the deck plates each and uh, to adjust the deck plates control lever move the pin which attaches at the eye bolt to the deck plate control linkage at letter C set the deck plate adjustment lever in the middle oh there now it clears up sorry if you want to keep reading through this without interruptions you can just press pause right now set the deck plate adjusting lever in the middle of the quadrant without disturbing the one and three eighths and one and a quarter inch spacing of the deck plates just the length of the eyeball by turning the I bolt hold until it can be pinned to the deck plate further to the deck plate control linkage without disturbing either the setting of the deck plates or the position of the adjusting lever in the center of the quadrant. Inside the deck plates the inside of the deck plates are loose are adjusted by loosening the Bolts at letter B. Right. right here. Right here at the bottom. Right here. And right here at the top. The inside of the deck plates are adjusted by loosening the bolts at B. After removing the deck plates to the necessary amount. Set the rear of the inside of the deck plates to so it is approximately one and eleven sixteenths of an inch from the center of the timing plate. Adjust the front of the inside plate so that it is parallel with the inside stock roll. Outside the deck plates, 
Now let's say deck plates of each row are adjusted by the eye bolt, which is located just under the deck plate, which is right here. Eye bolt clevis controls the entire length of the deck plates. To close the spacing between the deck plates, turn the clevis so it shortens the length of the eye bolt to open the spacing between the deck plates. Adjust the clevis so it increases the length of the eye bolt. If the space between the plates at the front of the unit is not one in one quarter inch, is with the deck plate adjusting lever in the center of the quadrant, adjust the eyeball clavis until the front deck plate is properly adjusted. Check the spacing of the rear, I mean at the rear of the deck plates. Make sure it is one eighth of an inch larger and the front spacing. If it isn't, loosen bolt A to move the plate out to increase spacing between deck plates. Push the deck plate in to decrease the deck plate spacing. Now you go to the trash knives. Huh. Interesting little setup there. Trash knives prevent weeds and trash from ripping on the stock rolls. The knives should be set as closely as possible to the rolls, to the rolls without striking the flutes. Adjusting the slots are provided in the brackets at the end of the knife supports. To adjust and loosen the bolts and move the brackets and knives to the desired position. Adjust each trash knife within 1 16th of an inch of the highest flute. A small trash knife is provided for the tapered section of the knife of the roll. Adjust so it is within 1 16th of an inch of the highest flute. Now here we go to something more interesting. The slip clutches. Amazing how nice these images are. Here's a gather chain slip Clear up a little bit. Sorry, it'd be better if I had a camera. Up clutches. Slip clutches act act as safety devices to control the machine. Should a slip clutch when the corn attachment is in operation? Should a clutch slip sorry tongue twister there about a written in a Run it with better grammatical sense. Should a clutch slip when the corn attachment is in operation, stop it immediately and determine the cause and correct it. Do not set the clutch under greater tension to correct uh, the difficulty. Slip clutches are set for ordinary work without stopping. Clutches should be disassembled and cleaned out at least once per season. Which are for me, I do it before and after. Slip clutch settings. The normal length of the stock roll slip chain is 2 and 1 16th inches. Huh. 
The normal length of the gather chain slip clutch spring is two and three sixteenth inches. Measure the length of the spring only. Make sure all four springs on each slip clutch are set exactly the same. Important notice. Do not tighten nuts to the point where the clutch will not slip. Make sure the two nuts are not jammed together. Note, springs on the gather chain slip clutch are not interchangeable with the 